Touch TV. My name is Joy, and on this show, I will bring you the latest entertainment, just gossip, and connecting with a few of your favorite artists. Okay, as much as you all know, Peace Girl, Shenanigan, they were acting all, they broke up, and just disturbing the whole of social media with their band. Hmm. Finally, oh, they came back together. They performed in Holland and a couple of other places. On his own, add another performance to go for. And I'm wondering, what is going on? Are they together or not? Well, that's none of my business. No sign of your bro. I'm sure most of you might know this your bro I'm talking about. And some of you might know this is your bro I'm talking about. But this is one of the latest record labels in town right now. And trust me, this record label has produced odd bangers like 365 and Follow Me and so many more. 65 and the year we are falling The party know the doll, oh boy we carry plenty dollars We're painting it red there, we're painting it red there See plenty NSC, now me chicks one color And I've been waiting for this video for a, long, for a while now. They've been telling us going to release a video. And they finally released the video. Well, hmm. all I can say right now is that you guys should go and download this video. For those of you who haven't listened, who don't, who don't even know what is happening, just go and listen to this video and watch it and tell me later. Yeah? yeah. And the top gist of the day, guys. Touch Entertainment is organizing first of its kind industry night on the address showing on your screen below. So don't forget, don't miss this show, and we must be there. Your 
grew up from a family uh, from a Christian family, you know. I happened to be a second child of my mom, of my, my family, you know. So, I was brought up in a godly way. They were still growing, but I grew up in a church where uh, I was able to, you know, discover my my talent, you know, in the music. Um, but I say, I found that I could actually sing when I was nine. Yeah. Actually, when I was nine, I was in the choir, yeah, then I wasn't, I wasn't actually a singer, the vocal singer, I was uh, just an instrumentalist, you know, actually, I discovered that I could sing, you know, later on, and then I found I could sing at nine, yeah. That's it. At what age? Mm. Considering my age, I guess when I was 12. Professional, yeah. Writing songs when I was 12. Mm. I did my first, my first, uh, Single. I wrote it when I was when I was twelve. At at the when I, you know yes when I was twelve, I was in a group of three. Back then in Nigeria, I was in secondary school. I was actually the, the little the, the smallest among three of us. It was one Ghana boy, one uh, Togo guy, then me. These guys were rappers and I, and I was just the, the vocalist, and, you know, so, but the time goes on, after we finished our uh, secondary school, all for this past, you know, that was how I, I started doing my own, on my own way, you know, I wrote my first song then, and I did it, and that was how it just started. Boy is the name my friend, one of my friends that loved my music. You know, like I was saying, I could, I was making music. You know, he came in and he was like, "Actually, you sound original. This music you write doesn't like the other, 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 other guys' music. You sound original." But before then, I bet so many several names. I bet my name was my first name was a uh, Mr. P. Mr. P. Yeah, uh, I was actually Mr. P. And then after some times, I found out someone else was after the same name. I had to change it to Flex P. You know, the same thing happened. Then I now my friend just came and I was telling him that you you sound so original. You sound different. I started to call myself Original Paul. It was formerly Original Paul before I now decided to make it Original Boy. You understand? What kind of music will you say you do? And mm -hmm. what inspires your music? Okay. Okay. All right. I am inspired by several kind of music, that like different kind of music. Because I listen to all kinds of music. You understand? Sometimes. I listen to music, I don't even understand what they're singing, the language they don't understand. I could search for South African music back, back, back then, you know, and I play it. I listen to hip hop, R&B, blues, you know. So I'm mostly inspired by the music I hear. You understand? But I could be inspired by things that happen around me, but mostly the music I hear, I hear that I'm inspired. And then kind of music is like, um, I wouldn't say it's high life, but most of my fans would say it's high life. 
no. But it's a fusion of a combination of a high life, R and B, and then gospel, and then hip hop. The same challenge every artist face. Now, what what are the challenges? Um, personal. What are your personal? Yeah, I know. These challenges are like you make music, you make music, and then you be done listen to your music. Do you understand? You make music, you find out. You have something to offer, but after all, it looks like you do it for just the people around you, for just only you. But you're still aiming very high. You want to, you want to be like someone like uh, maybe Two Face, little superstars. But still, you work this hard. It still looks like, you know, it's not going anywhere. You understand? We try our best to make. I respect other musicians too. Upcomers like me, you understand? Because if you see someone that comes out and calls him or herself an artist, a musician, whether made or upcoming, respect the person because it's not easy. They face a lot, you understand? Yeah. Next week, Friday, it will be live at uh, King's Club. Just so. this Friday. Yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. It will be live at King's Club. It will be performing live with live band. You know, as it said, um, I perform most of my hit songs live. Right there. So I want to use this medium to invite everybody that likes the original boy. You know, my fans just come around, come over that very day, turn up. Yeah. Yes, it just happened once. You understand? It happened just once at the uh, the, the the Touch of Love concert. You understand? That was the first time it happened. Mm -hmm. All this while no, I'm performing with my with my normal music, not with the live band. You know? You understand? So I perform. With live band back there in Nigeria, yeah, I go for shows. Do you understand? You understand? But for here in this country, it's the first time. So if I perform next week with live band, it will be the second time. Okay. The Kim Pius Entertainment is a platform, yeah, where the P crew is under. In pure entertainment, do you understand? Um, actually, the peak record is made up of uh, three artists. Three artists: the King Pius himself, myself, and then uh, Big Hardy. Do you understand? So and then. Yes, we're doing well. Uh, it's all about entertainment. You understand? I think I don't have much to say about this P crew, but let's just watch P crew do their things and let's see what, let's see what comes out of it. So, when are you guys going to do something together? Mm. <sighs> Actually, we're planning on that very soon. Very soon. Oh, very soon. Just take it. Just very soon. Okay. We are anticipating. Good, good. Keep anticipating and then express something good from original board. Okay. Free crew as a whole. Okay. Turn up, right? Yes. I think turn up just came up like a, the very thick impurest posted uh, a little jingle about, about the King Pius Club. I was making another music, different music, was making different music. Then he posted the, 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 the jingle and tagged me, and then I looked it up and I saw it. 
I was listening to that. I just I heard I heard just what I heard there. Something just came up. I left the whole thing I was doing. The music I was I just left it. Then I opened different I started a different music that very day. Between two three days, I was very surprised I came up with something. I came up with the beat and I was like, I think this will go well. Let me just do this. In a week I did the beat. After the after the beat, the next day, yeah, after the beat, one day I voiced everything. I missed for two days. That was how it came out. And then I found the music. I didn't even like it, actually. I didn't like it. But I was playing it. I, normally, if I play music, if I make music, I will play it and pretend it's not mine. Let it, and let the vibe to it and help people say about it. So I was playing this music and when oh my guys came around, I was like, I want this music to make sense. So, you understand? I was like, oh, wow, you're not sure? I said, yes, it's okay. I said, okay. That was like, I said, okay. That's how the music came about. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. And I'm very surprised. It dropped. It dropped and then. It dropped really fast. Yes, very, really, really, really fast. And my friends were like saying, really, really, original boy, you've done it again. And I was like, sorry. I don't know, but if it's cool by you guys, it's cool. It's cool by me. That's it. So are we expecting any new video from you? Oh, uh, yes. I should expect video, more songs. For this new single? Uh, I, I don't know for this. I don't know about this new single. What video would come into then more tracks dropping soon. You understand? That's what I do. That's what we do. We don't. Do no other job. Music is our life. Music is my own job, personally. You understand? That's it. Thank you guys for connecting with us in the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Like and follow us on all our social media platforms. On Instagram, we are at Touch Flavor. On Twitter, we are also at Touch Flavor. And on Facebook, we are at Touch Flavor and at Touch Entertainment. Bye, guys, and see you next time to open it.